All right, done. It's settled. Dearie, you will remain here to coordinate the mercenary. Francesco will organize our forces in the city and send word when it's time to strike. Jacopo, your job is to calm the citizens once the deed is done. What of that Ubriacone and Mario? He continues to harass my forces, and I fear he discovered what we intend. He's always been trouble, just like a bastard or brother of his. Then let me reunite them, father. There will be plenty of time to clean up the refute when we finish it. Now, is there anything else? Oui, bien. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May, May the, the Father, Father of Understanding guide you. Who's that asshole? Commandante! Commandante! What? Mario Longipoli has invaded the city. He comes for you. <laughs> then let's not keep him waiting. Where you going, buddy? Come back here. Holy shit. Where is he? Maybe he's up on the wall. Hmm. Where'd this bastard go? Well, let's help first because our guys are getting owned. Like maybe we have to kill enough. No, you can't hunt. There we go, die. That was weird. Oh, fuck off. Oh, I see you. How do we get up here? No.
kill all these guys first. Oh! Fucking own. What are you and your allies planning? Is this what my father discovered? Is this why he was killed? I'm sorry. Were you hoping for a confession? Pezzo di merda! Vorrei solo che avessi sofferto di più! Hai avuto le fine che meritavi! Spero che il bro... In attenzione! Show some respect. Respect? After all that's happened, do you think he will show either of us such kindness? You are not here. Do not be talking. Che la morte ti dia le pace che cercate, le questa in pace. Take this, read it when you have the time. Our work here is finished. Let us return to the villa. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested and spoken with your son. I agree with your assessment, though only in part. Yes, Harry is rash and prone to act without forethought. And he has a habit of treating the mercenary like playthings. I have received reports of at least three men being disfigured as a result. But I do not think him as you would. Beyond repair. Rather, I believe the solution to be a simple matter. He seeks your approval, your attention. These outbursts of his are a result of insecurities born of a sense of inadequacy. He speaks of you often and fondly and expresses a desire to be closer to you. So, if he is loud and foul, angry, I believe it is simply because he wants to be noticed. He wants to be loved. Act as you see fit on the information I've given you here. But I must ask that we end this correspondence. Were it to discover the nature of our conversations, I fear what might become of me. Yours in confidence, Roger Con. What's going on?